Hey everybody, it's Shell, and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to uh, prepare uh, salads in a jar. And this is something that I got from a party a friend of mine invited me to, but I'm doing it on my own salads for the week. At Walmart, you can get six packs of these, well, this is a limited edition color purple, woo -woo, uh, of mason jars, wide mouth mason jars. A six pack of these will cost you, uh, I think, between eight and ten dollars and you want to get the biggest ones that you can uh, find there but they come in a sealed pack and they're kind of over near the vacuums just to give you a hint in case you've never shopped for mason jars but what we're going to do is we're going to make salads <clears throat> and the first thing that you do is you get your salad dressing that you like whatever you want or none and I have this light uh, raspberry walnut vinaigrette and I have already placed it in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see real well. It's kind of dark in the, in the house. But um, I've already placed it in the bottom, but you just put a little bit in the bottom there. And uh, in the bottom of each one, and it's purple, and the thing is purple, so you really can't see. But anyway, you put a little bit in the bottom of the jar. Make sure it's always in the bottom. And then we're going to begin to add our ingredients with our lettuce going last, okay? Our lettuce is going to be going last. All right, so <clears throat> what I have for my salad for the week is I have some red seedless grapes and I cut those in half. I've got some shrimp and that's just cold and I've uh, cut it in you know little bits. I've got some um, organic cherry tomatoes and I've cut those in half as well. And then I've got these organic shredded carrots which already come ready to go and some cheese. So we're getting our protein from our cheese and from our shrimp. So this is great plus it's a little sweetness with your grapes and um, your tomatoes are good and, and it just is balanced. But you can pick anything you want to put in your salads. That's the great thing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna start off with some carrots. we we'll just put some carrots in. We're gonna put carrots in each one. And you can be very generous. You can put as little or as much of each item. Just throw it right in the jar. And this makes a great party because what happens when I learned to do it, um, I was invited to a party and told to bring four jars and um, and I brought six. But I was told to bring four jars and uh, they instructed me to bring two different ingredients and I did and there were stations that were set up. There was different stations set up with um, all the foods. And we took our jars around and filled them as you wanted. All right, so that's plenty of carrots. All right, next I guess I'm going to go with some tomatoes. So we're just going to throw those tomatoes right on in there. This is getting redundant, I know, but I'm just trying to show you the ease of this. And I just got back from the supermarket, so like that's when you're... You need to do it. Just don't even put it away in the fridge. Just go ahead and just get it done. Just get it out of the way. That way you only have to put away your jars. All right? And it only takes just a few minutes to cut this stuff up. And let's see which one. Okay. That one needs it. All right. So we've used all our tomatoes. Next, let's go ahead with our shrimp. I'm going to throw our shrimp right in there. And this is my first time using shrimp in here, so this is going to be interesting. Should be good. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. I'm a shrimp lover, and we all know the benefits of shrimp with very little to no calories. So shrimp is definitely our friend. So we're going to put all the shrimp in. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. It really doesn't matter the order. Now I'm going to do my grapes. Get those grapes in. I'm a grape lover. So I've got to get my sweet on. And this kind of keeps me from having a dessert. And I'm like one of those people that like as soon as I'm done eating a dinner, I need to have something for dessert. So I usually have some sort of fruit on hand all the time. Because I have to have oranges or grapes or bananas immediately after I eat something savory. I'm just, I don't know why, but I've never been able to quite break that habit. Let's see. Okay, that one needs more. And usually like, I'll add, they, you can add some nuts in here too, and that's usually good. All right, now we're gonna do our cheese. 
Man, I do love my cheese. I'm going to go. We don't want to get too crazy because we want room for our lettuce. I'm going to save some room for our lettuce. Put the cheese in there. And I just got this three cheese, three cheese um, crumble. But you can get shredded cheese. And I'm making a big mess, and that's fine. Have fun with it. I've got three dogs, and they are more than happy to clean up his cheese. That's it. All right, struggle bus in. I think I'm going to this already. It's hard to hold this thing a little bit. Anyhow, I'm going to finish putting this cheese in here. That way I don't have to put this cheese bag away either. The one thing I didn't use all of was the uh, carrots because there's a lot in there. All right, so you can kind of see from the side here how that's building. And then you're going to get your salad greens, okay? You're just... I got organic salad greens, and you are just going to stuff these in here. And I mean pack it in there. You're just going to pack it in there. Just ram it. In. Just ram that in there. I really filled it up good. Yeah, there we go. That's the fun of it. you got to be a sport, see? It's not messy. It's not fun. All right. So, yeah. We're just going to... Put this lettuce in there and just stems and everything. We just want all that good stuff. Okay? Or you can chop it up if you want to. I don't bother. I like it. I like it rough. What can I say? Just gonna sh jam that right on in there till no more can fit. The reason I'm doing all this in time is because I want to show you exactly how long it takes to get all this in here even with me telling you how to do it how long it takes to make these salads because the prep on it was really new and you don't even have to cut everything up like I did I just do all right so filling that up looks like we're gonna have some extra salad greens left over maybe it's like four dollars four ninety eight for that big thing of salad don't go for iceberg get this kind Get the romaine and the dark leafy green so you get your iron and and all that or you can even use baby spinach which is really good okay we're at seven minutes 37 seconds so far that i've been talking to you making these salads okay just jamming it in there cramming and jamming get a little bit more okay it's done last one I love getting things done quickly. Like, I don't like anything that takes longer than 15 minutes. Seriously. Like, I'm so busy in my life that I cannot possibly do anything more than 15 minutes. All right. So, I've made a bit of a mess, but not that bad. Something that's going to sweep up really easily. But I've got my six jars filled, and I could have easily filled seven. Okay? And what you're going to do now is you're just going to get the lids... Place those on there and you're going to refrigerate those and then every day you can bring one out and you can have that and this let me tell you something this will serve you a good two meals to three or a dinner for you and your significant other or another person Or an appetizer for several people. And the greens stay dry in here. That was the whole purpose of putting the um, stuff on the bottom. Okay. So I left one undone intentionally. With my, excuse my big old mess here. Because I want to show you exactly how much salad you are getting. This is a stand, actually it's actually a really large dinner plate. And I'm gonna just dump this out. And this is what you're gonna do. You're just gonna dump this all out. And the vinaigrette, everything has come out. And here is your, this was actually one of the ones that I didn't even fill up that much. This is your beautiful salad. All right, you see how large that is? That is a lot of food. And you can easily 
feed two people, like I said, two people on this, you a couple of meals, or if you're really super hungry, you the whole thing, and guess what? Everything here is super healthy for you. You cannot feel guilty about anything here. This is, this is great. This is organic. This is fresh. This is coming right from your fridge. You're walking to the fridge. You're taking this out of the fridge. You're turning it over. You're having it. If you eat half of it, you don't want the rest, put the other half back into the jar, refrigerate it again, and you've got another uh, meal later. But for your meal at the end of the day, like if you're doing protein shakes, a shake in the morning, your shake in the afternoon, and then this for your dinner, you're perfect. And you can use chicken. You can use beef. You can use ground turkey. You can use taco meat. You can, I mean, you can really get creative with these different ones but I just did them all the same this time so anyway I've been almost 11 minutes in telling you about these salads in a jar but it, I'm gonna dig into this one a little bit then I'm gonna put it back in the jar and I've got five more of these that I'm gonna be able to share with myself and my husband throughout the week and I don't have to think about meals so that is a plus for me anyway have a great day excuse my mess I know I'm a messy chef but I have fun. Have a great day. I hope you like to try the salad in a jar and it works for you. Thanks.